Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to turn this giant braid of garlic into a potion of instant heartburn. So there's a wonderful sauce called Tomb, which is essentially emulsified garlic and oil, and it is a fantastic way to add some more flavor to your repertoire. Let's get started. If you don't already know, you can speed peel garlic by agitating it between two bowls. If you have some stubborn pieces, you can add a few drops of water and repeat. For this recipe, you'll need at least a cup of garlic, which is a lot to peel by hand. Feel free to peel extra so you can snack on raw garlic as you go. We're gonna be here for a while. For the smoothest and creamiest tomb, you'll want to remove the sprout from inside each clove. If you don't, the sauce will be more harsh and bitter. And while that's not the end of the world, I would strongly suggest you don't skip this step if you're trying this sauce for the first time, or if you're introducing it to friends for the first time. And I'm making a double recipe, so I get to do all that over again. Using lemon or lime instead of vinegar will add more depth of flavor. Lemon is more traditional, but I prefer the taste of lime. Add your garlic, salt, and acid to a food processor and rip it down to a paste. Feel free to play with the wiper blades to pass the time. Slowly incorporate the oil as though you're making a mayo. For a lighter and fluffier texture, you can add a splash of ice water between pours. Keep alternating between the oil, water, and fidget spinner until the oil is gone. You should now have a creamy garlic sauce that's fluffy enough to sit on a fork. Fantastic. Now, I'm sure you've tried some already and it's probably fire. You probably shouldn't top your containers off this high. Uh, you do want to let them sit in the fridge overnight at least. Just with a rag over top, you don't want to seal them airtight. You want to give this very, very volatile garlic concoction a little bit of time to breathe. You are more than welcome to start eating it right away if you do have the constitution for it. Otherwise, you will notice a significantly smoother and less violent flavor the day after. And there you have it, folks. Now you have probably one margarine container, unless you did a double recipe as well, of delicious tomb to pair with falafel or some form of souvlaki chicken or just a spoon into your mouth if you have a meeting with your boss and you want him to keep it short. Other than that, if you notice that I made a mistake or if there's any recipes that you want to see me try, please leave a note in the comments below. And if you try this out on your own, let me know how it works out. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.